Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Monday. It is the nine, uh, the 6th of February. Mm. <laughs> I looked at that. It looked like a 9, but I looked at it too quick. It's a 6. <laughs> It's the 6th day of February, National Chopsticks Day, National Frozen Yogurt Day. Mm, I like frozen yogurt. It really is good. Yeah. And right. National Lame Duck Day today. So all of those things. And it is a Movie Star Monday today. So my guest for this Movie Star Monday is John Ecker. He has been in a ton of stuff, but he's got a new program that looks really good. I watched the uh, trailer. Uh, it's called The Watchful Eye. And it's about this young lady who is uh, going to be kind of like, not spying, but kind of spying on a family from the inside as their nanny in okay. this big building. And there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in this building all the time. And there's people that, you know, somebody that passed away mysteriously. And there's, okay. it looks scary. I think you're going to like it. So hmm. we'll definitely watch it. It's not out. I think it comes out. I guess we'll have to ask him. I think it's coming out soon. <laughs> I had some notes here, but I don't know where they are. I'll find those before we talk to John Ecker on this Movie Star Monday. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. What would you do with an extra four hours every day? 60% of adults feel as though there's just not enough time in the day to get all the things done. What if we had more time? According to a survey, 2,000 people were in this survey. One in five would focus on a project or a task they enjoy, while 28% would uh, tackle more projects, bigger ones. 34% said they'd finish more chores. And 20% said they use the time to get more sleep. So why do people feel they need more sleep? Well, here are things they say drain them of their energy. Cleaning, 33%, like house housework and whatnot. Right. Getting ready for events, 28%. Jobs, 28%. Financial responsibilities, 27%. Uh, other concerns like climate change and things, 26%. Taking care of my family, 24%. Taking care of myself, 21%. Traveling, 18%. And politics, 17%. Those are the things that are keeping people up at night. Okay. Here's the thing. Quit thinking of those things. Just turn that off and go to sleep. I know it's, it's easier easy. said than done, I, my friend. But I've, I've learned to do it, and I encourage others to as well. Here's what I say. I say, whatever is keeping you up at night, give that to God. He's going to be up all night anyway, and then you can get some sleep. How's that sound? Surveys and he's studies. only up because you keep giving him all your problems. <laughs> well, and he's taking them. Thank you. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Australian research. Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi. Did you know? Australian <laughs> researchers are working on new technology that may allow mobile phone batteries to last for a decade, about three times longer than they do now. Currently, ah. only about 10% of handheld batteries, including those in your phone, are recycled in Australia because doing so is very expensive. The rest go to landfills, which is actually harmful to the environment. This new innovation by engineers from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology might actually help with this. So it would make them last longer so they would uh, stay out of the landfill that way. And uh, I don't know if they would make them more recyclable. I'm not sure. But interesting stuff. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. I got three stories here about Netflix. Results are in. Netflix dominated the Nielsen U.S. streaming charts last year. Uh, Stranger Things, Wednesday, and Ozark were the three big ones. Then they also acquired NCIS. Netflix took 11 of the top 15 spots overall. 
Wow. And 13 among the streaming originals. 13 of them were their own things. Nice. So they did very, very good. That 90s show hit Netflix top 10 for the week of January 16th after only three days on the service. So that wasn't even part of the numbers we just talked about because that came out this year. It's a spinoff of that 70s show, yep. but it's 20 years later. So now it's called That 90s Show. And the third story, Netflix is defending their reality series Squid Game, The Challenge, after it may have become too close to the fictional source material with players allegedly being stretchered away as the set turned to a frigid war zone. Meanwhile, there, there's actual things going on right now where people are like, no, this they should take this off. If you'd like to read all the details on those three stories, I've got them in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit bettercreditcards.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com uh we don't usually talk about this kind of stuff because they just don't want to talk about negative things but i thought it was kind of an interesting thing so we're going to talk about the doomsday clock do you know what that is no so if you're already having a not so good day sorry for dragging this thing in (laughs) But there's a thing called the doomsday clock, and it's used to illustrate how close humanity is to annihilation. Oh, my. It was recently advanced by 10 seconds. It is now in the closest position to apocalypse since it was started in 1947. It now stands at 90 seconds to midnight, due largely but not exclusively to the Russia and Ukraine skirmish. Uh, the increased risk of nuclear war escalation is what, what is kind of the, the big major piece of that. It has been at 100 seconds to midnight since 2020. The new, the, I'm sorry, the new clock time was also influenced by continued climate crisis and the breakdown of global norms and institutions needed to mitigate risks associated with biological threats like COVID-19. So Rachel Bronson, president and CEO of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists said we are living in a time of unprecedented danger and the doomsday clock time reflects that. We urge leaders to explore all options for dialogue to their fullest ability to turn back this clock. So, again, I try not to bring this kind of... because oh, It's a bit of a downer. It's terrifying. I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. But I also think it's important for people to know and I think it's fascinating the number of people that had never heard of this before. I remember numerous times where I would see things in the news where they're talking about the doomsday clock. So I actually looked it up a couple years ago because I'm like, what is the doomsday clock? Yikes. If you'd like to know more, you can find it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. I promise we'll get back to happy stuff now. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with John Ecker. You might know him from a bunch of great TV programs, uh, Major Crimes and and Gossip Girl, Narcos and Chicago Fire and all of these other great things. But he's got a brand new one. It's coming out right now. And it is uh, on Hulu and it's on Freeform, The Watchful Eye. John, how are you, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I just want to premise that whole intro, which I appreciate that I was in the the, the the Mexican version, the Spanish language version of Gossip Girl. So I don't want people being like, "What character did he play in Gossip Girl?" <laughs> um, because only the Spanish language audience will know it was Gossip Girl Acapulco. Okay, very cool. See that that I think that just makes it even more interesting. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't want people doing a Google deep dive. Like, I don't remember him on that show. Yeah. Well, then the, they they usually email me and just assume I'm wrong because that happens a lot. But this new program, The Watchful Eye, this looks really good. Tell me a little bit about. Your 
your character in the program? Um, yeah, I play I play the character of uh, Scotty, the boyfriend of the main girl, uh, Mario Molino's character, Elena. And she, she basically plays a nanny that is infiltrating an affluent family, trying to pull something off, which you have to watch. It's hard to talk about the show without giving away spoilers, because it's kind of like a mystery whodunit kind of thing. Yeah. You know, with all 10 episodes, you're trying to figure out who did what and why, because there's just ulterior motives floating all over the place. But it kind of makes it hard to talk about the show because I, like, I'm not supposed to say what I do, and, uh, and I give away spoilers. But um, but it's a fun show. It's a great show. Well, and so I we're watched excited for everybody to watch it. Finally, airing. Yeah, and I watched the trailer for this, and it it hooked me instantly. Just watching the trailer, it uh, like you said, kind of a whodunit, very suspenseful, makes you want to know more, and it kind of just reels you in. So whoever put the trailer together, they did a really good job because now I got to see this series. Yeah, they did. They did a great job. It makes me want to watch it too. And I'm like, well, I know what happened. I, I shot the whole show, <laughs> and they're in it all over the place. Um, so hopefully, it pulls a lot of people in to watch it because um, you know we got a great cast, a great crew behind the show, and um, we're really excited for people. To to tune in and, and finally watch it. Yeah, and it's coming out right now. It is on Freeform, and it's on Hulu, and it's called The Watchful Eye. Now, as I was going through the big, long list of all this other fun stuff that, that you've been a part of, uh, I know one that, that people are huge fans of, Chicago Fire. But as I look at this list, Criminal Minds, NCIS, New Orleans, uh, Narcos, Major Crimes, all of these shows, many of these are like household names. These are things that everybody, even if they've never seen it, they've heard of it. And you're a part of not just one of them, but a bunch of them. How does that feel? Uh that feels great. You know, it's, you've got to pay the bills. So the more I can work, the better. But um, it's fun. And, you know, sometimes I, you know, it's, sometimes it's just one episode here, six episodes there. But I, I forget about a lot of them. Like major crimes, I'll still randomly have a cousin or somebody who will send me a screenshot that they're rerunning. And I'm like, I completely, I was 10 years ago. I forgot about that. Um, but, but it's great, you know, because when people, you know, recognize you or talk to you on the street about a show, it's, it's really interesting because, you know, they're fans of different shows and different genres and, it's nice to kind of have a mixture of, of doing a little bit of everything, everything from, you know, Narcos to a Hallmark movie. So you got to and everything in between. And the thing that's really neat is you were kind of born into this. Your father did this before you and you're following dad's footsteps. I think that's really cool. Yeah, but it was, it was completely unplanned. You know, I have a degree in marine biology and I never once crossed my mind to be an actor. And I used to work as a research diver in Santa Barbara, California, and it just, you know, life throws you curveballs, and when you're young in your 20s, you can kind of take those curveballs, and I kind of walked into this later in life, in my mid to late 20s, so definitely did not grow up being like, oh, I want to be an actor, even though my, my dad was, but uh, but yeah, here I am, so I'm just going with it. Well, I think you're doing really good, and, and uh, like I said, big, long, impressive list of programs you've had a chance to do. Is there, and you even mentioned a Hallmark movie, is there something that's on your bucket list where you're like, I've always wanted to do this is there you know some sort of fun genre or whatever that you haven't had a chance to do yet um i think it would be i, I would pro probably just to mix it up I, um you know i enjoy doing these like tv dramas um i enjoy that format and uh working a few you know four or five months out of the year then taking a break and whatnot but i would i would like to do a comedy just to try it you know i, I love watching the stupid rom-coms and stuff oh yeah especially like the old ones you know you know, with Will Ferrell and all all those Adam Sandler movies and stuff I grew up with. So that would be really, I mean, I don't know if they even make those type of comedies anymore, but that would be fun. Absolutely. Well, yeah. we'll we'll be looking for you in one of those. And when you get that opportunity, we want to chat again. All right. Oh, it sounds like a plan. John, I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. All right. I appreciate you. Again, our guest today has been John Ecker and the show is called The Watchful Eye. It came out one week ago. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Before the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics, Usain Bolt ate 100 chicken McNuggets for a day. I'm sorry, 100 chicken nuggets a day for 10 days straight. Then he set three world records. 100 nuggets a day. That's insane. Yeah, that is insane. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The FDA, that's the United States Food and Drug Administration, allows up to 60 insect fragments per 3.5 ounces of chocolate. (laughs) My diet's going to be way better knowing that. (laughs) Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Winston Churchill once designed greeting cards for Hallmark. I loved Winston Churchill. How funny is that? And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It is impossible for anyone to count to one billion out loud. Go ahead and start. Well, I suppose it would take... One, two... Wouldn't it take too 36 long? 36 years. Yeah. Yeah. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more. More now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And it's time right now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's your question today, Heidi. What is the thing that around 15% of people say they would do without their significant other? What is the thing that people yeah, would do it's, without it's their... It's a thing si- that you would go and do this without your significant other. You don't want me coming with for this. I don't know. Do skydiving. No, grocery shop. <laughs> <laughs> skydiving. <laughs> I want to come with for skydiving. I don't want to go grocery shopping, though. No. Mint Mobile yeah. question of the day comes your way, courtesy of mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Rhode Island girl came up with a novel way to answer the age-old question whether Santa Claus is real. She sent a partially eaten cookie and a few gnawed-on carrot sticks to the Cumberland Police Department and asked if they could be tested for DNA. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. The girl... Uh, Again, she's just a little kid, so her name has not been revealed. That's adorable. Wrote, I took a sample of cookies and carrots that I left for Santa and the reindeer on Christmas Eve, and I was wondering if you could take a sample (laughs) of the DNA and see if Santa's real. So I know it is now February, but this story is so adorable. I can't wait till next year to read that this. That is so cute. Chief Matthew Benson forwarded the evidence to the state's Department of Health Forensic Science for a unit of analysis. Uh, the department form says it is to be examined for traces of DNA compared with profiles on record for the above name suspect slash alias. The oh charge, my gosh. failure to finish snacks. The Department of Health returned the analysis saying that they were not able to deny or to uh, definitely confirm or refute the presence of Santa based on these findings. So <laughs> that, that is just adorable. the cutest thing it ever. It really is. That kid, that's kid's guts. <laughs> Help me out here. I watched CSI. I know how this goes. Sprayed some luminol. All right. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. And it's time right now for The List brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. We're not going to get through all of these today because there's a lot of weird names here. The most unusual celebrity baby names. So these are celebrities who had a child and named them a bizarre name. Okay. So the first one on the list here, Air Webster, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. They named the kid Air, A-I-R-E Webster. Um, here's one I had to look up and see what this is. Trisha Payadas and Moses Hakamon. Okay. Trisha's a YouTuber. Anyway, they okay. named their daughter Malibu Barbie. See, some of this is just, That's just cruel, not nice. I think. But um, And then we got uh, Grimes and Elon Musk. They named their daughter from 2021 Exa Dark Side Rail. I don't know if I'm saying any of that right. And their side, son. I'm, side I probably, Rail. It's like they made up letters. There's an A and an E stuck together. I don't know. And then their son's name is, uh, his Nick's name is X, but it's pronounced X Ash A12. Okay. And they've got like Roman numerals in there. Who, okay. Kate? Nick Cannon has a son named Zillion Air Cannon. Okay. Uh, Rupert Grint and Georgia Groom have a kid named Wednesday Grint. And that is kind of a uh, an Adams family inspired name. And we'll have more tomorrow. 
So just when you thought you heard them all, no, you haven't. You heard <laughs> half of them. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just 15 dollars a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Kurt Vonnegut said this, true terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of scary, oh, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, the kids that we all graduated with, now they're in charge they're of things. They're in charge. And there are some where you're like, wait a minute, what's he doing now? Should he be doing that? I don't think he should be doing that. Even right. more terrifying is someday the children in your child's class yeah, they're gonna are take going over. to be running Very things. true. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. This story could have ended very poorly, but it, it ended really well. Missing diver rescued by a family after being swept away by the current. Oh, wow. A 22-year-old was rescued by his family after getting caught in a powerful current while diving off the coast of Key West, Florida. Dale Gartenmeyer went missing at sea for several hours after getting caught by Gulf Stream current. About 5.45 on January 19th, family received a phone call from a family friend who explained, hey, Dylan has gone diving with friends and he's been missing for a few hours. We were told that, that he went down for a dive and did not resurface. So we were thinking the worst uh, she Yikes. and her boyfriend frantically took her grandparents' boat out and set sail in the area where the friends last saw him. Before we even completely stopped the boat to start looking, uh, the boyfriend spotted Dylan near the channel marker that marked the reef, and she said, the joy that we felt in that moment is indescribable. Oh, I'm sure. Holy cow. Priscilla's boyfriend recorded the moment Dylan was pulled to safety, and there's a giant hug that you can see in this video. Uh, of course there would be. So I thought that it was a family. It was his family. Wow. I mean, that's even more amazing when you think about that. And the friends were like, hey, we don't know. Uh, we've been looking for him, but he's and been gone. And the odds of being able to couple even hours. Find him. Yeah. yeah, and the friends, what? They just left? <laughs> like, yeah, we, like, yeah, he's not there. We're getting not hungry, sure. so we're going to run and grab some food. But if you guys want, <laughs> this is kind of where we were. I mean, that is just amazing, amazing, amazing that uh, things ended the way they ended. And like I said, you can see the video. You can find that story. I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.